In this video, we're going to look at a proof of this trig identity, that the sine of alpha plus beta equals the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta plus the cosine of beta times the sine of alpha. And uh, for example, I mean, if we took the sine of 90 degrees, could we split that up into perhaps the sine of 50 and 40, and then take the cosine of 50 times the sine of 40 plus the cosine of 40 times the sine of 50, would that be the same thing? Well, the answer is yes. And I, I like this diagram because it's, it just seems so awkward. And yet it really helps us prove that this theorem makes sense or that this identity makes sense. And um, what we should start by doing, I think, is labeling our alpha and our beta, our two angles that we're looking at. So let's say that this angle right here is going to be alpha. And here, this is going to be beta. And I do those really small, but let me write them over here. This is the symbol for alpha, and this is the symbol for beta. So that's what I'm trying to draw in there. Now, if this is beta and this is alpha, this whole angle right here is alpha plus beta. And that'll help us start this off, right? So the, the sine of alpha plus beta, those two angles together, what's that going to be? Well, the sine function relates the opposite to the hypotenuse, right? Think of Sokotoa, opposite over hypotenuse. So here's our opposite side right here, BC, over the hypotenuse AB. And I don't want to draw on it right now because um, I don't want to clutter this diagram up any more than I, than I have it already. But that would equal, again, this side right here, BC over AB, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. And this is a right triangle. We have, right, we have a straight line here, there's a 90 degree angle here, so this also has to be complementary, this angle is 90 degrees as well. And now we have this right triangle, and the sine of alpha plus beta equals BC over AB. And that's that kind of gets us started. Um, the next observation we need to make is that, could we write BC in a different way? BC is from this point to this point, or we could write BC as BD, plus EF, right? That's the same thing as just saying that this piece and this piece are the same thing as BC. So let, let's rewrite, rewrite that. And what's so cool is that that really helps us get started. So the sine of alpha plus beta, we can write that as BD plus EF over AB. And I can just write rewrite that as BD over AB plus EF over AB. And still, we, we haven't gotten very far, um, but now, now we have something to work with. And let's just look at these ratios, like BD over, over AB. Look, it's, it's this little piece here, BD over AB right here. And that's not very helpful. And EF right here over AB. So, so the idea next is to think, well, isn't there some way to, to mess around with these ratios to get something that, that would be super helpful? Maybe like, like BD over BE or EF over AE because you want to somehow relate some leg to some hypotenuse or some adjacent and, and opposite side in one of these right triangles, right? We have a triangle here, triangle BDE and triangle AFE or triangle ABE, we want to get them all in, well actually that's not even a right triangle, we want to get them in some in some right triangle here. Um, so anyway, uh, actually AEB, yeah, that, that might be a right triangle, sorry about that, because this is a right angle here. Um, but anyway, so I, my diagram is, is drawn a little sloppy though, this should be, uh, this line right here should show that this is 90 degrees and that this is 90 degrees. Anyway, anyway so um, let's get a ratio that helps us. I want to start by looking at this one here, BD over AB, and I want to somehow get BE involved. So I want to multiply that by BE over BE. And for EF over AB, I'm going to multiply that by AE over AE. And let me let me show you what I mean. So we get two things going on here. We're going to manipulate both of these. So first, let's take care of BD over AB. I'm going to go this way and write in green. And we'll say BD over AB. Let's multiply that by BE over BE. 
And again, the idea is I want to I want to relate this side BD to BE because I know that they're in the same right triangle, and that could be helpful. And I can multiply by BE over itself because that's just like multiplying by one, and that won't change my expression at all. Um, so anyway, over here next we've got EF over AB. I want to multiply that by AE over AE. And again, the idea is, well, let's let's relate this side to this side over here because they're in the same right triangle. And for the same reasons, that I can multiply by BE over BE. I can multiply by AE over AE, which is just 1. And now I'm going to just put my plus symbol back in there so I don't lose it. And this is going to be a little awkward, but I'm going to go back up here. Well, what can I do with this? Right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the commutative property and and say that I can do um, B D times B E over A B times B E. So I can just change the order, right? Use the commutative property to say that's the same exact thing as B D, right? Keeping this where it is, but instead of over A B, I'm gonna switch the B E and A B. So it's B D over B E times B E over AB. And that's that's the exact same thing as right here. This is identical to this over here. It's just I've switched the order in which I wrote the sides. I'm going to do the same thing for this t term over here. Instead of EF times AE over AB times AE, I'm going to write it as EF over AE times AE over a, B. And now, what, what I love about this is that this doesn't seem to be very helpful, but <clears throat> we're, almost, we're almost here. We're almost ready for our trig identity. And let's just look at these, let's look at these sides, right? What is B, E over A, B? Well, let's find that. B, E here over A, B here. Well, this is a right triangle. Right, triangle A E B, and this should again my diagram is a little sloppy here, but these are two 90 degree angles, so the right triangle outlined in pink, and we have B E over A B. Well, that's the opposite side over the hypotenuse for this angle, which is beta. So so far we have the sine of beta, right? So B D over B E over A B. Sorry, that is equal to the sine of angle beta. Wow, that's matching up right there. And next, well, we've got EF over AE. EF is right here, and AE is over here. And this is a right triangle. I should have labeled it. This is a right triangle as well. And EF over AE is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, which is the sine of alpha. So this is this little term right here, EF over AE is going to be equal to the sine of alpha. All right, so and again, this is BE over AB, that's just the sine of beta. So now we're looking for the cosine of alpha and the cosine of beta, right? We've already taken care of the sine of the sine of alpha. So how, what are we gonna do next? Let's look at AE over AB. AE over AB, right, that's just this side right here and this side right there and that's the cosine of this little angle beta right the adjacent over the hypotenuse the right angle is right here adjacent over hypotenuse this is the cosine of beta cosine of beta and now all we have to deal with is BD over BE and that's the only one that is a little tricky but we can deal with it let's find it BD let's use change colors here BD over BE. And I mean, as we're working through this trig identity, you might realize, well, the only term that's missing is cosine of alpha. So we need to get that in here somehow. So we need an angle that is representing cosine of alpha, which right now is over here, but somehow relates to these two sides. So we should keep that in mind. And we just need to do a little bit of manipulation here, or I guess observations of what's happening. Look at line DE, right? We'll extend it a little bit. This is DE, and then look at line AF. 
visually, you can see they're parallel. If they don't look parallel, it's because my drawing is off slightly. But let's think about it. DE is perpendicular to line BC right here. Right? DE is perpendicular to that. And AF is also perpendicular to the same line. So that means that DE is parallel to AF. That's a, group, that's a useful observation. I'll write that over here. DE is parallel, two lines for parallel, to AF. Okay. If that's true, well, this angle right here, these two parallels are they're cut by this line, right? This transversal. So I'm running out of colors. Let's use this one. This angle, alpha, is going to be equal to this angle right here. So this little angle is alpha. And I hope we can see this. <laughs> That's equal to alpha. Well, we need this angle over here. So what we can do is think about what's going on over here. Well, this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle is alpha. So this angle in between, well, altogether, the three of them have to equal 180, but we already have a 90 degree angle. So to figure out what this angle is, we take 90 away. We already have this 90 degree angle, and then we take away alpha, because this little angle is alpha, and altogether they add up to 180. So what's this angle in between? Well, it's 180 minus 90 minus alpha. And what's that? That is just well, 180 minus 90 is 90. So the angle in between here is just going to be 90 minus alpha. So I'll write that down, 90 minus alpha. And then we have this, this, this right triangle here, right? B, D, E, and my color scheme is terrible here. I can't even follow it myself. Maybe I should rewrite some of this, but and maybe I will in a moment, but let me get through this. So this is 90 minus alpha, and this is 90. Well, this triangle has to add up to 180, so this angle has to be equal to alpha. And the reason why is that we have 180 degrees in the triangle, and we already have the 90 degree angle over here, and then we already have, we have to take away 90 minus alpha, and 180 minus 90 is 90, minus 90, is zero, and then minus a minus alpha is just plus alpha. So this angle, that's what's so cool. This angle right here is is just equal to alpha. So, so again, we're looking at. Let's go back. B D over B E. Well, here's B D. Here's B E. B D over B E. That's the cosine of alpha, because cosine of alpha is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent side, that's the hypotenuse, and that's the cosine of alpha. So BD over BE is the cosine of alpha times, let's finish it, the sine of beta plus the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta. And if we want to look exactly like the term up here, we can switch these two. It doesn't really matter. The, the commutative property of multiplication says we can do that. And we have our identity. <clears throat> anyway, I hope that helps.